everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer and today is my beauty recommendations for the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I love the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I've been shopping this sale for ever. <laughs> I honestly don't remember the first time I shopped it, but it was a very long time ago. What I'm gonna do today is I'm looking through the site, I'm looking at all the beauty exclusives that are currently listed in their preview. I believe, again, could be wrong, that there are going to be additions to the things that are currently previewed. I have some information that shows me some other things that I don't see on the preview yet. So it's either that the information I got is incorrect, uh, and this is everything, or the information I have is correct, uh, and this is just what's being previewed, and then there will be more things when it goes live. So I just want to mention that really quickly. The uh, dates where everyone can shop, I'll have down below. Um, for me, I am an ambassador level, so that starts July 7th. The only level above that is icon level. Icon level, basically, you have to be invited to, basically. Uh, so, and that's like, it, it, it's a very high level. So anyway, so July 7th is when I can start shopping. I, I have a page that I've put together that has all of these things on there, all in one place. It'll have all the beauty and all the fashion. And that link I've put on Instagram and I will have it down below. And then each thing I mentioned, I will also have a separate link separated out in the description box. Hopefully I can do both. Um, but if you want to go to that page, you can basically put everything in your shopping cart now. So if, if, you, if you're so inclined to use one of my links, I greatly appreciate that. That does really support my channel. Uh, but if you use my link and you go to Nordstrom and you put everything in your cart uh, a day or two before you shop the sale, you can then shop the sale like when it goes live. So what I do is I put everything that's, uh, it says like sold out. It, you know, you'll look at it and they'll say it's sold out. It's not sold out. It's not available yet. Put it in your wish list or create a wish list and then you can add it to your cart the minute it goes live. That's how I do it. Um, so I'm just like ready to go. Okay, so let's go through this. Um, so I have it from price high to low because I... I tend to go towards the more expensive things. Um, and there are a couple of things that as we get through this. So there are La Mer, um, very large sizes. Um, the moisturizing cream, which is what I use and I absolutely love. But this is an 8.5 ounce jar of this stuff. Okay, it's huge. Uh, it's $1,300. It's $1,330. It's a value of $1,667. But I will tell you, I am not buying a jar of moisturizing cream for $1,300. I spent a lot of money, but I'm not doing that. Uh, but I will say, if if you buy La Mer in very large amounts, that is actually a decent deal. Again, I'm not doing that, but I'm just, just putting it out there for you. There's a bunch of La Mer sets. I think they're very good. If you like La Mer and you like the travel sets, these are good deals. There's a transformation set, which is $420. There's, there's a couple of them. And I'll make, again, everything will be linked. There's a page where all of this is on there. Um, so there are two Tom Ford um, sets. There's the Private Blend Lost Cherry and the Private Blend Rose Prick. And both of them have um, a full size bottle of the, the scent, the perfume, and then, which is a 1.7 ounce. And then there's a travel spray, which is 0.34 ounces for each. I actually love both these scents, but the, the Lost Cherry is one of my favorites, seriously, of all time. Uh, and the sets are 368, $368. Um, and the regular, if you could get the 0.3 spray the atomizer because there's an atomizer i believe it's refillable i'll double check and the 1.7 um it would be 443 dollars so it's a good deal and if you really like the scent and you really want to travel spray you know that's awesome um okay so those are the the tom fords uh, Parfums du Marly has the delina eau de parfum set again a really good deal if you like that or if you wanted to buy it, here's a good opportunity for you to do it. It's $347. Um, it has 2.5 ounce spray, and then the travel size is one ounce. So it's quite a bit of product. Again, both eau de parfums, and um, it's $347. It's not really a scent I love, to be honest with you guys. And I know that's like sacrilegious because a lot of people love it, but it's just, it's just not, it's just not me. 
Sorry. Um, okay, so the next one will be the Sicily Paris is the Black Rose set. This is $230. Its value is $415. It has the Black Rose Eye Contour Fluid, which is really good. The Black Rose Cream Mask, one of my favorites. The Black Rose Screen Skin Infusion Cream, which I use all the time. Um, it's a $450 value, like I said, and it is on sale for $230. That one's a really good set. Yeah, the Black Rose is really, really nice product. It's one of my favorites from, from Sicily. Uh, Augustus Bader has a bunch of things. Not really my thing. Uh, the Maison Francis, I always get his name wrong, Kirkshawn Scents. So they have a fragrance discovery set for men and for women. If you're not really familiar with, uh, I call it MFK because it's just easier. Uh, they're the ones that do, uh, he's the one who does uh, Baccarat 540, one of my favorites. Um, Fluidity, it's either Gold, I can't remember the actual full name there, but, um, and then there's an Oud, he has beautiful, beautiful scents. That is a great way to try, um, let's say you wanted to get the ones for, for women, although I feel like there's no such thing, you can wear anything you want, so the her and him thing, you know, I have a lot of, quote, um, men's scents, perfumes that I wear and I love, but anyway, uh, it's $220, and there are uh, a number of different perfumes and each one is 0.34, a uh, 37 ounces. So it's a third of an ounce, which is a decent amount actually, um, if you wanna try out, you know, um, his fragrances. So I think that's, that's worth picking up. All right, let's get, let's keep going. Okay, the GHD, this is the Black Platinum One Inch Styler. It's a, um, a hair straightener. Uh, flat iron and I actually am picking this one up. I just haven't decided if I'm getting it in the white or the black. Probably the black. I don't really think it matters. But I need a flat iron. I need a flat iron. Um, and I've heard this one. I've heard great things about it. I've heard great reviews. Um, and it's actually between that and another one that's on sale, which I'll talk about in a minute. But I have heard really phenomenal things. So uh, I think that's worth it. The Slip Pure Silk uh, King Pillowcase set. I have King Pillowcases. I think they have a Queen one as well. When I tell you that one of the things that has elongated how long I can go without washing my hair and the thing that keeps my face from looking really crinkly <laughs> at 50 are silk pillowcases. It's not a joke. And I know you'll hear a lot of people be like, oh, it's not, you know, they're just trying to sell you something. No, no. When I was 20, it didn't matter. I could literally fall face first into like the rug and wake up and be look, and have two hours sleep and look fine. Now at 50, that does not happen. There are imprints on my face when sometimes I like take a nap somewhere and they don't go away for hours. It's not good. Your skin does not snap back the same way it did. Sleeping on a silk pillowcase has really made a huge improvement to how my skin looks throughout the day and my hair. Um, and I would strongly, strongly recommend uh, picking up a silk pillowcase. I like the slip ones. I have slip hair ties. I, I really like the slip products. Those are the ones I buy. So I will be buying this because I, um, I have I have gray ones and I'd like, these are white and I think they'd be perfect. Uh, Simple Human 8 inch sensor mirror. There's this round one. It's um, as you get close to it, the light goes on. That is what's in my bathroom. I actually have this mirror. I strongly recommend it. It's really, really good. Uh, you've got the, I think it's a 10X on one side. I'm trying to remember exactly. Um, 5X magnification that lights up automatically as your face approaches. It's awesome. I love it. And I use it, it literally sits in my bathroom and then when I walk in, I walk up to it, the light goes on. It's phenomenally good. Um, the Ricky Loves Ricky 10X mirror. This is the skinny mirror. They have it in rose gold and then they have it in uh, white. This is literally what I have here on my vanity when I record for you guys. So when I put makeup on, this is the mirror I use. And it's a really, really good mirror. I really love it. It's just really easy to use. And it also has an attachment that you can put your iPhone on if you want to record while you're looking in that mirror. I don't personally do that, but I know a lot of, a lot of folks do. All right, let's keep scrolling, keep scrolling. Uh, Westman Atelier, the weekend set. Um, I mentioned this in my Instagram. This has nectar, chouchette, and um, poto, um, 
Wigan, I think. Uh, Port Soleil, which is their tinted highlighter. It's a very strong highlighter, by the way, guys, but it's beautiful. The Cheek Blush Stick in Chouchette, which is one of my favorite shades. Uh, and the Highlight Stick in Nectar, again, stunning. I have them all, so I won't be purchasing them, but this is a really good set. It's $138, um, and they're, the, the sizes um, are uh, really easy for um, uh, travel. They're beautiful products, cruelty-free, made in Italy. I really strongly recommend the Westman Atelier products, so that one is definitely worth picking up if you don't have those shades, because stunning. Um, okay. Next, the, yep, yeah, Slip does have the queen pillowcases, just so, just to mention. Okay. All right. Uh, Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb Eau de Parfum set. I love Flower Bomb. There was a time that everybody wore a Flower Bomb, like literally everywhere you went, everyone had it. So I, I didn't wear it as much because everyone had it, <laughs> but... I love it, and in the set is a full-size Eau de Parfum, a 1.7 ounce, a travel size, which is a third of an ounce, um, the body cream and the body lotion. And there's a part of me that wants to buy this set, even though I already have a 1.7 ounce sitting on my dresser, because it's $120, and I don't have the lotions or the creams, and I really do love that scent. I love it. Uh, so did everybody else, though, for a while, which is why I didn't really talk about it for a while, but I think it's phenomenally good perfume. Love the scent. Uh, next, the T3 uh, One Inch Styling Iron. So this is the other one that I thought about picking up. And so I'm trying to decide between the, the GHD and the, the T3. If you have any thoughts, I'd love to hear them. Uh, it's $113, so it's a little cheaper. Um, and I hear good things about this one, too, honestly. Um, I hear that it's it's a you know ceramic plate. It works really well. Uh, I haven't heard anything bad about it, so... You know, I'm just deciding between those two. I'm just looking at reviews. Uh, the Diptyque four-piece candle set. I love Diptyque. I have so much Diptyque, it's crazy. This is a good representation, though, of, like, their different scents. And, you know, I'm a huge candle person. And Diptyque is my favorite of the candles. So, just saying. Uh, Chantecaille, the Cleanse and Smooth set. Now, this, they say, is best for a normal oily skin. But I want you to know, I use both of these products and love both of these products. I just don't use them as often. I don't use them daily. This is the um, the new exfoliating phytoactive solution and then the rice and geranium foaming cleanser. I love that cleanser actually. It's a great cleanser. Uh, I only use that one like twice a week at the most though because it's a little bit more exfoliating. Same with the proactive solution. I use that, um, I use it like twice a week and sometimes once a week, frankly. It sort of depends on how my skin feels. But I love both of these products and would strongly recommend them. And it's $108 and the value is $154. So that one is a really good deal if you don't have those products. I literally have backups. I have two backups of each. Not kidding, because I really like them that much. Again, Chantecaille, the Faux Sills Mascara Duo. It's $148. I am gonna buy this because I always have, I always buy it because I, I love that mascara. I use it. I go in between like different mascaras and then I use that one when my lashes start to like break and stuff, which they're getting to that point now. So I will be on a Chantecaille uh, hiatus. Like I'll just use Chantecaille mascara for like the next two weeks. Um, it's, it's that good. So totally worth it. Totally worth picking up. Uh, there's a lot of beauty tools and I'm not going to recommend them or talk about them because I don't use them and I won't recommend or say something that, that you should absolutely pick up if I haven't used it, which is why I mentioned about the flat irons. I, those are the, that's the only product that I, I haven't used or tried, so I don't, I don't know which one I'm gonna use yet. Um, the Replica Jazz Club set is $141. This is one of my favorite scents from Replica. It's fantastic. Jazz Club is amazing. It smells like a men's cologne, which again, if you really like super feminine, what you consider traditional feminine florals, you won't like this. But this is a very, like, jazz, like, cocktails, you know, smoky. It's, it, uh, I love it. Um, and there's a, t uh, a toilette and a candle. So I'm actually thinking of buying this because I don't have the candle. I have the, I have the toilette, but I kind of want the candle. And it's a good deal. <laughs> it's $95. So I might pick that up, even though I already have, even though I already have the older till that. Oh, well, uh, we'll see. All right, so lots of other things. There's Tom Ford uh, Shimmer Body Oils. Not really my thing. I do like the Chanel Dry Oil. That's not part of the sale, but I mean, they do have it at Nordstrom and I love that dry oil, but other body oils, they just don't quite work on me. 
I don't have anything. The Lavo with a Parfum set. There's another 13, the Noir, and Santel 33. All great scents. Those are great scents. Uh, it's, how much is it? $65. And each one is small. They're 0.17 ounces, but it's a great way to try the brand if you haven't tried it. There's some Nest candles that uh, look nice if you decide to pick up some of the Nest candles. I have a lot of Nest candles. Uh, it just sort of depends on what like scent you like, but they all look good. Um, Charlotte Tilbury has Pillow Talk. Again, I have a lot of Pillow Talk. Um, Dior Attic Lip Set. Again, I like Dior. Uh, the Western Atelier Squeaky Clean Lip Balm. Um, I've seen other people mention that. And as I just said, I love Westman Atelier, but I don't really love the squeaky lip balms just for me. They're not my thing. So I'm not going to recommend them, but I'm not saying they're bad if you like them and, or if you haven't tried them, Westman Atelier is a good brand. I just think they're, they're just a little, I don't know. They're just not, they're a little too like not, st sticky for me. I don't know. I just didn't particularly like them. So Nothing against, like I said, if you like them, more power to you, but they're just not really, they're not really my thing. Um, okay. Other stuff that might be good, but I have not picked it up or tried it, so I don't want to, I don't want to go down that road. Uh, the slip scrunchies, like I've mentioned, love the slip stuff. Stuff's great. Um, I might try the Lulabo hand soap, because I love Lulabo so much, I might just try it. Uh, I haven't tried their, their hand soap, so I can't tell you what they're like, but there's shower gels and, and hand soaps and stuff, and I might try it. Uh, the Aquas Rapid Dry Hair Towels. Those are the hair towels that I use on my face, on my hair, on my face, on my hair. Uh, basically, what I do is I wash my hair, I wrap them in the towel, let them semi-dry in that towel for like 30 minutes, and then I blow out my hair or even let it air dry. It makes a huge difference. I swear by those towels. They're absolutely worth it. The MAC Cosmetics, the Essential Lipwear Sets. I like those. I am a huge MAC lover from back in the day. I have a lot of the liners, a lot of the lipsticks. I think their products are good. Um, I don't think it's going to be anything revolutionary, but, you know, again, I like them. So, and they have a mini MAC lipstick set. Again, I like, I like MAC lipsticks. I still like MAC lipsticks. It's just, I'm not like wowed by this because it's not anything really new. So my, so my overall thoughts on the sale, um, I wasn't totally overwhelmed with the sale, to be honest with you, from the beauty perspective. I'll do another video, like I said, on shoes and clothes and all that good stuff. And there actually are a couple things that I want um, that are outside of beauty. But um, I was just kind of like, okay, everything's all right. Like I'm not, I'm not thrilled with it. I'm just kind of like, it's okay. Um, but. What I would say is that there are some other things that seem to be coming. Um, and I, I'm looking at some information that I have. There's going to be some gifts with purchase and there's going to be some uh, anniversary daily deals that will be posted. Um, like the, let's say, and I'm just making this up. This is not what I'm like. So maybe on the 24th, there'll be a particular sale for a particular brand for all their creams or all their serums or maybe their entire brand or maybe just skincare. So there's going to be those types of deals um, that'll pop up. There will be, um, you know, brand deals and those types of things. There's things at the end of the month, the end of July. And then I think, at least from what I saw, there are going to be other things that aren't part of this um, preview. But again, I could be wrong. And maybe this is it. So if it is, you know, it is. I will certainly add as I see things to that page that I talked about. And the link again is in my um, description box in this video, but it's also on my Instagram page. It's a link in my bio. You click on the link. And the first thing that will pop up is Nordstrom anniversary recommendations. You click on that. It'll take you to a page where everything is and you can shop directly. Um, and I appreciate, again, you shopping from, from my links if you choose to do so. Um, but if there's something new that pops up that I hadn't seen before, I'll try to mention on Instagram if I can. Um, those of you who haven't watched me before, I have a, a full-time job that doesn't involve uh, beauty in any way. Uh, and so sometimes it's hard for me to like, at, you know, during the day, just do that. Like I just don't have time. So um, if I can, I will. Um, but if not, I'll just make sure that I add it to the page. So you can always check out that page and I'll have it as up to date as I possibly can have it. 
Um, I'm just looking through just to make sure there's nothing I'm missing. Yeah, that's everything that appears on the preview as of now. And as of now is literally the last day of June. So we've got seven days before the sale goes live. Um, this will post uh, just a couple days before the sale goes live, but I just wanna make sure that you know, in the interim, some other things might appear that I won't mention in this video, but if they do, I will make sure they're added to the page if I think they're worth picking up and you know, should be part of my recommendations. I'd love to hear what you guys are picking up because maybe I'm missing something. Maybe there's something out there that I haven't tried that you think is absolutely fabulous that I should try. And I would love to hear that because I have to say, there's not that much that I'm interested in picking up this time around, mostly because I've picked up so much. I have so much that, you know, there's nothing, there wasn't a lot of things that were completely new um, to the lineup that I don't have. So it's some things that I'm renewing, some of the Shantakai things, that type of stuff. Um, and then some things that, you know, um, I thought would be interesting, like the flat iron, because I don't, I don't own a flat iron right now. So I'd love your thoughts on that as well. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye. Thank you.